Well, howdy everyone. Today, Kenna Tourist is reviewing the Longhorn Restaurant at Rest Point Casino. This is our own personal experience. You may have had a different one, but this is ours. The Rest Point Casino is an icon here in Tassie. It is the oldest casino in Australia, and it is one that we often go and visit. A few years ago now, there was a major rain event that hit Tasmania, and it resulted in the bottom floor of the CAS being under almost a foot of water. It was quite frightening for a lot of the staff there. Now there were some renovations going on before that, but that really kicked into gear because they had to pretty much replace the whole bottom floor and then the renovations flowed on from there. After what was ages working on the downstairs floor, it was finally finished and then the top floor began its renovation. It was good to see that they kept the revolving doors at the front entrance and after the renovations were done, we were left with something that was clearly stunning. A few of the much waited anticipated openings were the birdcage bar. I was really interested to see what that looked like. And that feels more like a um, something you'd see on a cruise ship. The other was the removal of the buffet and the Longhorn restaurant. So that was a marketed for ages about being this great place that you could go and eat. And we not long have gone to see a Damien Leith concert in the new showroom. And that was really good too. The casino has some accommodation options which include the tower, the water edge and also the Point Motor Inn. And there are also places to eat such as the bistro or the cafe. Kwong Ho is pretty good. I really loved the old Pier 1 so I'm a bit biased there. Which leads us to talking about the Longhorn Restaurant and our experience. You can find the menu to the restaurant on the Rest Point Casino webpage. And the drinks menu is there also. Along with the menus that you get provided is an advertisement for all of their different sources that you can purchase. $15 each or three for $40. All sources are $3 each. Wow. I'm just gonna have a Corona out. As this was going to be our very first experience at the restaurant, and judging by the meal, possibly our last, we decided that we'd go for a bit of a taster and we took the $75 per person option, which is a bit extravagant, but we did want to make sure that we got the full experience. Everything on the menu that has a star comes in that platter. $22, $19, $19, $19, $19, $19, $19, $19, $19, $19, $19, $19, $19, $19, $19, $19, $19, $19, $19, $19, $19, $19, $19, $19, $19, $19, $19, $19, $19, $19, $19, $19, $
Second main dish was the barbecued glazed pork ribs with their promised land tangy barbecue sauce. And this would have been the half rack size, I'm guessing. The, the ribs were okay. And that's all I'm going to say about that. And I still have my $20 drink. The two smoked meat dishes did come with some things on the side. One was the charred broccolini. This was disgusting. I couldn't eat it. Not because I don't like broccoli. I love broccoli. This dish was just awful. And the other was the pine garner mac and cheese. The mac and cheese was nice. Uh, it was much more edible, obviously, than the charred broccolini. Now, I would have liked to insert a really nice picture of a dessert here. We should have had the Maker's Mark cream caramel, charred pineapple sorbet and bacon crisp, which was on our menu for $16. But sadly, we didn't get one of those because they'd run out. The friendly staff did offer us something else, but we didn't want any anything else. We wanted that one. Uh, they did give us a couple of drinks in uh, lieu of the fact that we didn't get what was on the menu. So now let's dive into a little bit of a review, shall we? I'm going to do this across five different categories. One is decor and atmosphere, staff, wait time, food, and then the price. Out of 10, I give the decor and atmosphere of this restaurant a, an eight. Uh, the reason why I give it an eight is because it is a little bit noisy in here. So if you're coming here for a nice, quiet, romantic dinner, forget that. Um, otherwise, it's a fantastic looking restaurant and it makes you, takes you to a different place when you're sitting in it. The staff at this restaurant were working their behinds off. I give them a 10 out of 10. They were friendly and accommodating and really, really helpful. Overall, I give the Longhorn restaurant a 7 out of 10 for wait time. I felt the meals came out fairly progressively and there wasn't a big delay. I actually think we waited longer for cutlery and plates than we did the food. For food, I give the Longhorn Steakhouse a six out of 10. And I do this because I really only enjoyed the one dish, which was the octopus, and also because we didn't get the dessert. Ah, price. The Longhorn Steakhouse is expensive. Choosing the Master Smoker's Choice $75 per person package, we saved around $25, $26. You then add another $30 on for my $22 drink and also, or cocktail and also the beer. I think a good indicator of a restaurant is whether or not you would go again. And I can't say that I would go again to this restaurant. I would go to one of the other options that Rest Point offers instead. So I give the Longhorn Steakhouse a 5 out of 10 for price. And I can't help but say that I did feel a little bit cheated after I left the restaurant. Um, but then that's pretty much what the casino makes everyone feel like, isn't it? <laughs> it's a gambling venue. I don't know. Look, you let me know what you think in the comments. Would you go to this restaurant? Um, have you been to this restaurant? I'd be interested to hear what your experience is. Thanks for sticking around and watching this review. And if you like what we're doing, you like our videos, don't forget to give us a like thumbs up, hit the bell and subscribe to our channel and I will catch you in the next one.